I'm Captain Tim, and you're watching Erie Extreme. Surprise, surprise. Once again, I'm doing something I've never done before, but this one happens to be on my bucket list. I've been challenged to shoot a fish with a bow and arrow. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a long night, but I'm excited. Dave! Yeah! Yeah, baby! <laughs> That's what's coming up on Erie Extreme. Uh. I'm Dave. For the past 20 years, I've traveled the country fishing bass tournaments for a living, and nothing else compares to the spot where I was blessed to be born and raised. So I've gathered up a few old friends. Oh yeah. <laughs> and we're having an absolute blast as we rediscover my old stomping grounds. Doing things we've never done before. Going places we've never gone before. Yeah, baby! Basically, just goofing off in this awesome place we call home. This is Eerie, Eerie Extreme. <laughs> This challenge comes to you from Ted W. from Wattsburg, PA. Ted challenges Dave to shoot a fish with a bow. No catch, except you have one day to complete this challenge should you choose to accept it. Good luck. Well then, looks like we's going hunting. First things first. I'm putting on my hunting hat. Camo! How's that look? Ooh, that looks really good, doesn't it? You like it? Look at this. Oh yeah, camo lids for everyone. Yeah. We're wearing camo. Camo hats. Did you notice? Yeah, I did. I was quick. Hello. Hello, is this Captain Tim? This is him. Who's this? This is Dave Lefebvre with Erie Extreme. Yeah, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. We have a challenge to go shoot something with a bow, and we have to do it today. Is that possible? Uh, <laughs> After doing this show for so long, I've become a pretty good convinciator. Awesome. Bingo. All right. I'll All right. See you up there. Okay. Bye bye. Yes. That's awesome. Man, that was way easier than I thought. Yeah, that was way easier than normal. A quick Facebook post panned out. Corey from XTR Charters, right here in Erie, Pennsylvania, recommended Captain Tim. And just like that, we're rolling. We're headed to the Lagoon Boat Ramp on the peninsula in Erie, Pennsylvania. Tim had about a two hour drive, so we're sticking Uncle Skippy at the entrance to the park to guide him in. What could go wrong? The wrong place, obviously. Yo. Dude, there's no place at the canoe ramp to park trailers. It's not a canoe ramp. It's a very nice boat launch. It's the same place we always go, Terry. Big boat ramp with okay. a lot of parking. I know. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh, and there's a huge sign by it, too. Oh, look. Actually, two signs. Okay, apparently they're lost. I don't see his boat trailer. I don't see nothing. Where are you at? We had to do one-way streets. We had, I got caught and stuff. We had to pull all the way around. Really? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, and the you should have... The place you're talking about is before. It no, it's not. Right. It's not. So it is after it? Yeah, it's after it. Wait, so are we at the right place then, or I'm still going to a different place? You're going to the big giant, boat, the lagoon boat launch. It's the only one. So it's that little dirt road that I drove into. It looked like there was no room to do anything in there. It's a giant parking lot. All right, we'll be there in a minute. Okay, bye. I, I saw a black boat. Seriously? <laughs> so Terry and Captain Tim finally show up. Time to meet today's guy. How you doing, man? <laughs> good, good. So you're Tim. Yeah. I'm Dave. Yeah, we do a name test at halfway through the show. Okay. This is Nate. Well, I ain't going to pass your name test. See that score on my head? Oh, really? My short-term memory's gone. Really? Yeah. You'll fit in perfectly. Yeah, <laughs> you will. I had epilepsy the first 40 years of my life. I had meningitis when I was a baby had seizures every seven to 10 days. I had brain surgery. I've been seizure free for 23 years now. At the time of my surgery, there were so many people praying for me. I was touched by the Lord, gave my life to the Lord at that time. My life just completely changed. I was healed from the epilepsy. My photography took off on me also at that time. We got a full house because everybody's excited. I am too. Yeah. I'm really excited, yeah. Um, sorry about the fiasco. That's all right. What's your situation? I have a platform that can hold two guys. I got a couple compounds and I got a recurve. We put the fish in here after we get them. What do you do with them? They have animal shelters. Uh, sometimes the zoos will take them. After I shoot these carp, I take them to Living Treasures, which is an animal park right on 422. And they feed the wild animals with them. You shot a bow before? I used to a long time. I'm ta It's 25 years. When you actually hit one, you got to reel him in. Yeah, reel him in like a fish. Why don't you have like a fishing rod attached to that? Do yeah, they ever get off? You get the arrow in them, they're not coming. Huh. 
Man, that would be my luck though. <laughs> Here we go. I guess we're doing it. So the plan is to get them out on the water and shoot some fish with a bow and arrow. I've never been up here before with a boat. I'm not making excuses, but Erie Extreme has me going way out of my comfort zone. Sounds like an excuse to me. So let's just go, we're gonna go that way then. So Aaron, you're gonna run my boat. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it, Tim. Okay. You want me up on there? Yeah, grab the bow, go up on there. Well, I, I need bow lessons. Here, grab that one right there. Yep. What, this one? Yep, I'm gonna get you to practice up in here a little bit. I'm a little spooked already. So I'm just treat me like a small child. You better be on your best behavior today, boy. Here we go. This is cool. You know, in our bass tournaments, we're not allowed to have be elevated like this. Keep the screw up. Screw Put up. Put it in here. Push that in there. Okay. That's better. Okay. That's better. I can reel it in. Okay. You're making this sound way too easy, Tim. We need to ask these kayakers if they saw anything. I've never seen so many boats, canoes. Hey Tim, how far under them do you shoot? A foot? Shoot up, shoot for the bellies. Not a foot, but okay. a couple inches under. But this is where I was thinking, if we don't see one in here, we need to go out into Misery Bay. That would be fun. I'm not seeing anything. I thought we would see something right here. Do you ever get two shots at one? We've had three guys get three shots at a fish and none of them get it. The biggest fish we've ever seen, naturally. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, Tim. Yeah. Maybe we should go to the spillway at Linesville. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? We have bad luck. There ain't nothing in here, Tim. For our next trick. Go up the other end. Yep. We're out of here. We're going to go try somewhere else. Have you guys seen any alligators? <laughs> We're looking for alligators. Can I shoot a turtle? No. <laughs> Can I shoot Terry? You don't want to answer that? No. Okay. He obviously wants me to shoot you, Terry. Turtles are the last resort. <laughs> <laughs> then people. It's like the Dead Sea. Jeez. For the record, I would never shoot a person. Not even Uncle Skippy. It's a bluebird high pressure day and the fish don't like it, but I'm still shocked we didn't see anything back in the lagoons. Now we're headed out to Misery Bay. There's a ton of gar in here, so hopefully at least we'll get a shot at something. Please support our Erie Extreme partners. Marquette Savings Bank. We create website design and marketing. The Avonia Tavern. Fishing Online. Bentley Tree Care. East End Angler. Palmero Toyota, the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, Driscoll Tax and Accounting, R.W. Petruso Hearing and Audiology, and Visit Erie. It's a beautiful day. This episode is sponsored in part by Someday I'll Tackle. What's under your bobber? It's not happening. There's nothing here. Like, it's too sunny or something. You nope. know what I mean? There's a tree right here. I'm worried about bees. You know what I mean? Yeah. I had a good feeling when we were pulling up to this area, but I don't know. It looks good. The water's clear and we can see. I really think something should happen. Oh, there's one. First shot, here we go. Missed him, bummer. Dude, I'm telling you what, that arrow went right through where he was, but I didn't get him. I saw him swim off. <gasps> there's one right in front of me. Come on, arrow. Oh my gosh, it would be so easy. That was a good practice shot. I see, I see two right in front of me. We're seeing some fish now, but they're all gar. Gar are real skinny. We need a big fat carp. Okay, boys and girls. They're not be they're not scared at all. <gasps> There's one here. Okay, here we go again. I need to hit this one. Oh man. Missed him. Okay, now let me. There's another one here. Hold on. I seen him take off. He thinks I need six shots to get one. I'm addicted, Tim. I feel good about that because I got to see the trajectory and like how it. Good. We're right under. Oh, don't move. Oh boy, look at this one right under Terry's nose. Missed again. I really thought I had that one, but I'm learning. The next one is in trouble. Was that a decent shot, though? That was a good shot. I don't see anything else. This boat, its name is Mr. Wiggles' Mistress. <laughs> I don't even want to know what that means. My wife calls me Mr. Wiggle because I can't sit still. And she calls the boat my mistress. Okay, well, Mr. Wiggles, <laughs> take me to the fish. They're gone. Oh. Oh. I think I missed them. You did. Missed again. Oh. 
Oh, there's one right there. I'm pretty far away. Okay, so I guess I just suck. Dave's never gonna be able to hit one of these garfish. We'll see about that. Can't be good at everything. Oh, there's one right in front of us. I tried shooting him when he was moving. That's, That's dumb. That's all right, you can do that. Really? Okay. I don't even wanna waste our time in here. I don't wanna waste your energy either, Tim. I know. All right, we've been at this for quite some time now. I think we need to try something else. There's nothing. There's a turtle. I just, I'm stunned. It's time to call it a day. Call it a day? Yep. No. Quitting already? Flop, guys. It's gonna happen, Tim. I got news for you. It's not gonna happen today. I need to talk Dave into coming down to my home base. Yeah, I feel like the king of the frickin' bay right now. Nobody's gonna mess with me. What are they gonna say to me? You need to come down my way and do this at night. When? At nine o'clock tonight. How much of a guarantee is it? 100%. Are you serious? We go tonight, I'm guaranteed 100% you're gonna kill a carp. 100%? Really? Do you have enough energy left? Yes, I do. If you come down my way, I do. How do I look? Intimidating? Alligator. <laughs> this is our 30th day in a row. We still haven't seen one. <laughs> so we're loading up the boats with our tails between our legs like defeated squirrels who can't find a nut. I'm disappointed big time, but now we have to decide whether we want to take a chance and drive two hours south to avoid failing this challenge. Captain Tim says it's a guarantee. I've heard that before. We need to stew on this. All right, we're switching vehicles. Dropping my truck in the boat off, and we are heading two hours south. Okay, we're on our way to Moraine. We didn't see anything up there in Erie, but I'm pretty confident we're gonna see some fish back home. But fishing, you just never know. Hey, there's one of those excuses again. What happened to the guarantee? Anyway, as you can see, we're headed south. Lake Arthur or bust? What's that? What is it? Flash of flood. Nice. Figures. You might get about full size hail. Really? Yeah. Of course. Luckily, we drove through the bad weather and we made it to Lake Arthur. It's actually pretty nice down here and there's more life in general. I'm starting to get a good feeling about this. All right. Well, I feel like a failure, Tim. Led you wrong. Well, we were up in your home territory. You're in my home territory now. That's what we should have done in the first place. You heard that right. I told you. <laughs> Just make sure I don't shoot him at some point. Okay, I understand. Yeah, buddy. I'm slightly excited. Just slightly. Can you do that somewhere else? The fumes are getting on the camera lens. Go over there. I'm telling you, I just saw the fumes going that way. Whatever, go over there. Why don't you go in? It was going that way. Just go over there. Go away. It's like dealing with a two year old. Two. How long is this going to take? I'm not sure. Uh. <laughs> Let me put it to you this way you're going to get some shooting tonight. Now, whether you get a fish tonight or not, that's another story. If I shoot, I am going to get. You Whatever shot pretty good earlier today. I feel good. At those garfish, mm -hmm. so you should, you should get those a car tonight. Those things are too without... small. Put me on a big one. All right, All right. we'll do that. I'm fired up, fired up. We're at home base now. I'm a little more comfortable, and I know where the carp are at. Okay, get up there. I wear my sunglasses at night so I can pretty see. Pretty good chance there's gonna be something up in here. Okay. You on alert. Tim, I'm scared. <laughs> You got me puckered right now. Get ready. I'm ready. Get ready. I'm ready. Should I be drawn back right no, now? No, no, just wait till you Make see Make sure them. I can have room. Do you ever see their lips sticking out of the water? Going like this? Nope. No? Get ready. I'm ready. Watch towards dock too. What, you're scaring me. I'm already right here at this dock. Both sides? Just watch all over. Okay, I'm watching. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Can we shoot frogs? I see nothing. Okay. I'm gonna take these guys to a spot where I've always seen carp. We tried right by the ramp first. That's strike one. Time to take us to the good spot, Captain Tim. You need to get yourself ready. We're getting real close. Okay. It's all gonna happen. I just saw a mud. See that mud right there? That's, 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 that's yep. a carp. That was one there. Yeah. Instruct me. 
What so, color? What color do they look like in the water? Red or black or gray? Kind of gray. Okay. Don't worry. When you see one, you're gonna know it's a carp. Yeah. The problem is I'm gonna pee my pants. And I'm gonna be kind of flustered and not be able to shoot right. At least it's dark. Terry, have you ever seen any any more bugs in this? <laughs> yeah, come on. I'm not kidding, I just swallowed six of them. Okay, Tim, don't you be running me through no trees. Boy, would it be frightening to get stung by a bunch of bees in the middle of the night? Okay, Tim, they're here. Hold yes, on. you see, I see the mud they're making? Yes. I, would, I wouldn't even mind if you just drifted right now. There was a bunch of them around that tree. Right. Unless that was a beaver. No, those were carp. <laughs> There's fish taken off. I don't know if they're... Got him. Yeah! Yeah, baby! Oh, is he still on there? Yeah, he's still on there. Hold on, hold on. I think he got off. No. Did he get off? He got off, Tim. Is he still on there? No, he got off. Ugh. Is that normal? Okay, that's all right, that's all right. We know we go. Yeah. <laughs> you hit him. That's unbelievable. He hit the first fish he shot at. Okay. <laughs> that was exciting. I think I just peed a little. So I think somebody said they never get off. Tim, I specifically asked you if you ever lose them. You said no. <laughs> I don't. You do. <laughs> How do you get off? And I think somebody else said that would be my luck. Hmm. That just doesn't happen. Usually when you stick them, you get them in the boat. Don't go too fast because I'm not ready yet. Okay. Put the string up. <gasps> oh, that's a little fish. <laughs> okay, I'm freaking amped. You good, good. Your first shot, you done good. Got him on the first shot. You done good. Lucky shot. It had to have been just a lucky shot. Not luck, skill. That's a shad. There's big gizzard shad in here. You saw like a 12 inch gizzard shad. <gasps> Don't move. Got him. Fish on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, way to go. Way to go. <laughs> this is unreal. Pull him in. Still oh. on there? Yeah, baby. <laughs> get him. Wow, get him in here. Yes. Yeah, baby. <laughs> what do you say, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> in the boat. That's a Way to go. <laughs> yeah, I gotta come down there and do some hugging or something. There you go, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Man, I, I want to <laughs> hold him. There you go. How big is that sucker? 13.8. 13, 13 pounder, okay. Okay. Not bad. Okay, good. Good way to get started. <laughs> oh, Told you they're up in here, guys. Okay. Get up there and get ready right, for another one. Captain Mr. Uncle Wiggles comes through big time. Is it me or does Uncle Skippy choke a lot? <laughs> you keep your mouth. Everybody, just keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Hey, I'm like, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> That's disgusting. Ooh. Are these bugs nutritious at least? Yes, organic. At least these aren't mosquitoes. Has anyone got bit yet? I hate things that bite. Look at all these bugs. You know what? Come on down, guys. Oh, you're going to run somewhere? Yeah. Okay, we're moving. How much do you charge, Tim? $125 for two hours. One person? For two. That's a good deal. Have you done quite a few? Uh, only very few this year because yeah. I just got started and the weather really hindered me a lot this year. A lot of rain. It's a perfect night, isn't it? You like the weather, Tim? Beautiful. Get ready. I am. You ever shoot anything besides carp? No. I saw dust. I saw evidence. There's dust right there. There's, there's some in here, Tim. I saw two dust clouds. Yep. They were here. You just can't see them. Bubbles. Oh, Get ready, my. that was, that might have been a beaver. No, it was a carp. It was huge. We gotta be super quiet this time because we are definitely gonna see one. They're in certain places. Okay, spider alert. Oh gosh, look at all the spiders. Terry, I'll give you a dollar if you get a spider. This, uh, your, this your favorite lake? It's close to home. I watched it fill up. Did you really? I think it was 1963. I think I was uh, eight or nine years old when it filled up. Wow, something's fixing to happen. Uh-oh, spiders. There's a carp in front of us. It's spooked. There's some right there. Dang, I got a good feeling right here. There was something took off out of there. Ooh, there's one. You're mine, dude. 
Missed them. I shot way too high. In this shallow of water, do I still have to shoot below them? Not necessarily, but shoot at the belly. Okay. I'm pretty sure I hit that one. Dang it. I hate missing them. Boy, does this look good. You'd be ready up in here. Okay. My back hurts. My arm hurts too. I'm herniating my disc. Okay, who thinks there's gonna be one in here? I know there is. Tim, two just took off right here. <gasps> oh, look at this one. Is that a stick? Oh, dang it, it was a fish. I thought it was a log. I screwed up. Oh, there's another one just took off. Dang it. Oh, man, that sucks. Got the first two, missed the last two. Time to let Captain Tim in on the action. He surely won't. Oh my gosh. There's another one just took off. <sighs> you missed. I should have had that one. Now I don't feel so bad. My string was all messed up on my bow. I probably, I had a good shot at that. I don't know what I did wrong and it bothers me. I feel like those first ones, I just went in instinct. That's what it's all about. Don't think about it. I got a good feeling about this pocket right yep, here. Yep, yep. Okay, get ready. Daddy's gonna shoot one right here. Okay, focus. Don't think about it. Just miss. I missed him so bad. No. I shot way too high again. He's still there, Tim. You yeah, can get him. Right there, right there, right there. Right oh. there. Got him. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Boom. I got him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's nice. That's just like a lot. <sighs> yeah, baby. Wow. <laughs> this is the first one I got being in the back of the boat. Good job with the light, Nate. Was that fun? That was fun. Do you live for that? I do. I shot way, I, I missed that sucker by 10 inches. The stupidest carp in the lake. Oh, Terry boy. probably could have shot that one. We didn't get skunked with just one. Nah. How about that? That was bad to the bone. Is that a beaver up there? Look, look at that, look right yeah. there, see it? Muskrat. What are you doing, bud? What is that? That's a dumb looking little weasel or whatever. I can't wait till Tim takes us to the good spot. <laughs> He's holding out. I just saw another one swim out of there. That might have been a bass. What are these things we're going by, these little platforms? Those are for turtles. Huh. Oh boy. Are those coyotes or owls? What is that, Tim? That might be a coyote. Look at the little turtle trap. Okay, we're back where we started. We're gonna see one right here, and craziness is fixing to happen. Tim, do you not get tired? It's part of my workout. Terry, will you place food into my mouth? No. Will you place drink into my mouth? What is going on? Oh. Uh, uh, it's magic, you know. I wanna yell really loud <laughs> right now. Hey, bud. Why you gotta make so much noise? He took off 100 miles an hour. See him going? Tim, you might wanna stop here. A bunch of them here. Oh, there is a spider crawling down my leg. I don't like the way I feel right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's things on me. Out here on Lake Arthur in the middle of the night, Butler, Pennsylvania, looking for carp. Carp. Terry, would you like to touch my hair piece? Oh my. We're going downhill. <laughs> Better stop us. Stop us. Stop us. Eh. Sorry. <laughs> Oh God, there's so many <laughs> There's so many spiders on that one. There was 87 spiders on that one. We're stuck. Tim did that one on purpose. <laughs> We're beached. Oh man, did you see all those spiders? And they're all gone now, so you know they're in the boat. We are grounded. I mean like big time. You want Terry to get out and push? No. <laughs> Terry, get out and push. I can't believe how far in that mud I went. Yeah, you beached us. We were like Gilligan. The mud was so soft oh. back in there. Yeah, that was nice mud. It's not gonna happen. I'm getting shallow. Oh, there's carp in here though. Look at those bubbles. Oh Should yeah, there's something. Where, where, where? Yeah, we came in here to. He's got him. Got him. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> you got him? Yeah. The captain did pretty good tonight. <laughs> yep, the captain killed it tonight. That's number three. So fun. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice one. Call it a night. Okay. Well, that looks like a wrap. 
How crazy fun was today? And we beat the challenge. Thanks to the crew and Ted, our challenger. It's because of your challenges that we get to do so many amazing things and make so many new friends. Glad to meet you and spend the day with you. It was a great time, this was fun. Hopefully, I'll get Dave back on the boat again someday. Look at that. that amazing. I appreciate it. We definitely want to thank our Facebook friend, our buddy Corey from okay. XDR Charters. Yeah said you need to call Captain Tim. Oh, and that's how we got a hold of you. Man, anybody who's looking for something to do, like a bucket list type of deal, this was one of the most fun days I've ever had. I mean, I will never forget today. That was awesome. Thanks again. Thank you. We're heading back to Erie. We got a long drive. Nate's driving. <laughs> I'm sleeping. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you next week. Dude, this is one of the most enjoyable, relaxing shoots we've ever done. Usually this stressed the virginity out of us, and it was actually relaxing. Thank no, you. this is the first time you didn't act like an idiot. <laughs> Get home safe. You too.